What's going on guys? It's Big Cat here. Tizilla83, also known as Big Cat. I'm using a different format to make this video because for whatever reason the other formats the other format that I've been using for the last six videos apparently doesn't upload anymore. It's on YouTube, not supported by YouTube. I have no idea if they changed something in their settings. I don't know. YouTube can be quite the complicated world at times. Uh, so this is a uh, real quick um, post uh, uh, screen uh, spring game <laughs> screen spring game red white video really fast I told you I would I would get out there and I've already had a couple people Facebook me and ask me what the hell bro where's the where's the footage so um, so just to tell you you know there were things I watched I, I did watch the things I told you I was gonna watch you know things like um, uh, you know the receivers and what kind of routes they were running they didn't really show a lot and and I was a little surprised by that they really didn't it didn't seem like well I really don't know how much of Danny notes his playbook they've used but it seems like they ran pretty simple routes nothing crazy um, but uh, you know offensive line line of scrimmage looked great both sides of the ball for the starters for the red squad uh, they look like they they've been there a while I was really excited what I saw out of fro Holt and out of um, Led better to newcomers, impressed. Dean, who played for the wide squad most of the game, uh, look, he played physical for a corner. Yeah, Brandon Allen was definitely the the talk of the scrimmage, along with uh, Cody Walker, who carried the ball almost thirty times for one hundred thirty yards. Um, you know, so that was that was impressive. Sprinkle looked great. Uh, Keon Hatcher had a couple of nice grabs over the middle, and uh, yeah, there's been some questions about Rafe Peavy and Austin Allen, but I don't hold the spring game against them. I've heard up until this point that the, it's been a really good duel for the backup position, but for the most part, Austin Allen has still separated himself as, as the clear choice for the backup role. Um, so, you know, I, I little thing, some things I was really hoping to see, I was really hoping to see Jared Cornelius come out and blow up, get six or seven catches, you know, kind of do what Sprinkle did, you know, and, and it's crazy to think that Jeremy Sprinkle's a guy who's I mean, kind of been an afterthought the last couple of years, and now this year, all of a sudden, we could be favoring him as our number one, number you know, uh, number one tight end, but, you know, then again, as long as not our Henry here, that's not going to be the case. But let's not forget, we still got C.J. O'Grady, um, uh, 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 Will Gragg, Austin Cantrell, still guys that didn't even practice or guys that didn't see a whole lot of time. Uh, you know, we haven't heard from much in practice, but we still got those guys waiting around. Um, still got some guys that didn't dress out. Obviously, Collins and J uh, Jonathan Williams didn't practice. Uh, we got to see a, a little bit of uh, Denzel Evans, who's probably going to not – wind up seeing too many carries this year, but that's a that's something to watch out for the future. He could be our future back. Because I don't know if Juan Day is is a guy who could stay healthy enough to uh <laughs> to be a feature back in Arkansas, although I'd absolutely love to see him actually strap the pads on and play. Uh, maybe a while before we see that. Um so yeah, everything that I saw I liked. Like I said, the offensive line looks solid. It was interesting to see Kirkland playing out on the on the we you know the weak side tackles. Interesting to see Skipper uh, playing on the right side, who also had a number change as well. I don't remember what number it was, but it wasn't his other two numbers that he wore last year. Um, so if you were a little confused by that, I was as well. But you know, um, so yeah, that's really about it. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm sorry I had to use this format. I can't. I don't know how to edit in any any graphics. Uh, so this is just really all you're getting on this video. I hate it because it's so plain. But until I get this figured out with my other format, with my other uh, the other software that I use, or whatever's going on with YouTube, we'll probably have to be through this format. So, anyways, thanks a lot, guys. Uh, go Hogs! And until next time, peace.